Mike had to say about Emily joining the band, how this lineup change came to be, and the direction of Linkin Park's future. During an interview with Nicole Alvarez, Mike Shinoda revealed that Emily Armstrong will be stepping in as a co-vocalist for Linkin Park. This announcement came during a live performance event where the band introduced its new lineup. Not only was Emily introduced, but Colin Britton, known for his work with artists like G Flip, Illinium, and 1OK Rock, was also announced as the new drummer. So how did this all come together? Mike made it clear that this wasn't a situation where they held auditions or put out a casting call for a new singer. In fact, the idea of something like an American Idol competition for the next Linkin Park vocalist was floated to them, and Shinoda was quick to shut it down, saying it was the opposite of what we wanted to do. Mike emphasized that Linkin Park is built on natural chemistry, relationships, and creativity. Over the past few years, as Mike, Joe Hahn, and Dave Phoenix Farrell began spending more time together making music, things started to evolve naturally. Emily Armstrong came into the picture during that time, and there was an instant connection with the band. According to Mike, it wasn't about replacing Chester or trying to recreate what was lost, but rather finding something new and special. In Mike's words, the stuff we make with her is special. I don't know why it's special, it just feels special. That's powerful stuff. One of the most significant moments in this transition was the creation of the emptiness machine. Emily was asked to sing on the track, which was already pretty much written, and the result was mind-blowing. Mike said when they heard Emily's voice on the song, it just clicked. That's a Linkin Park song. At one point, the band even considered whether they should change the name, thinking maybe they were starting something entirely new. But when Emily sang on some of the tracks, it was undeniably Linkin Park. According to Mike, it just feels good, and that feeling became the guiding force for the new direction of the band. Now, of course, with such a legendary figure like Chester Bennington having been the voice of Linkin Park for so long, it's natural for fans to be skeptical, and Mike totally gets it. In the interview, he talked about how they've had countless conversations, both as a band and with Emily herself, about the scrutiny and pressure she'll face stepping into this role. But here's the key point, Emily isn't trying to be Chester, and that's not what the band wants. Mike said it best, Chester was a one-of-a-kind person and a one-of-a-kind voice, and Emily is also a one-of-a-kind person and a one-of-a-kind voice. She's not trying to be him, she's trying to be her. Mike stressed that the band's new music is going to sound like Linkin Park, but it's also going to reflect this new chapter, a chapter where Emily's voice brings something fresh to the table. It's a new era for Linkin Park, one that's honoring the past while forging a new future. With Emily Armstrong on vocals and Colin Britton on drums, the band is evolving in ways that feel both unexpected and organic.